Hi all, my name is Eric Juma Mbuile. I work for Regional Center for Mapping of Resources for Development, and I am part of the FESA project team. OFESA in full is uh, East and Southern Africa Forest Observatory, a project that is funded by uh, the European Union and is jointly being implemented by the Center for International Forestry Research and the Regional Center for Mapping of Resources for Development. This project is building from a prototype that was done between the year 2016 and 2018. The prototype covered five countries, but uh, the, the OFESA 2 project is now covering uh, five countries. The prototype covered four countries and the current project is covering five countries with uh, the addition being Ethiopia. So uh, the main goal of the project is uh, to provide a platform for sharing, exchanging and accessing data and information related to East and Southern Africa's forests. So uh, to be able to access the information uh, you can visit the link, the, the link to the project website, which is uh, officer.net, or you can also come to this link, apps.rcmrd.org forward slash officer forward slash en. So once you, you, you enter the link, it will take you to the, to the home page or the landing page. And the, on the landing page, you'll be able to see the five countries that are, that are covered by the project. And these countries are Ethiopia, Kenya, Mozambique, Tanzania, and Uganda. So uh, you will also be able to download the brochure of the project and the brochure will give you more information about the project. Uh, you can also, uh, you will also be able to access news, uh, latest news uh, related to the project. So if there is any information that uh, the project uh, needs to pass across uh, to the stakeholders, then that information will be put in the latest news section. Uh, and uh, as you scroll down, you'll also be able to access the Facebook uh, account for the project. We also have the Twitter account for the project. And uh, as you can see, we have our donors, the European Union, and our project imp implementers are RCMRD and C4. When you scroll up, uh, you can be able to access the information uh, related to the specific countries, or you can also get a regional outlook of uh, of um, of the five countries. So uh, to be able to access the information, uh, you, uh, you can go to the monitoring tab and then set, uh, click on the state of forest and the red plus link. So if you want the regional information, you click on the regional outlook link and it will take you to this site. So as you can see, uh, you have your regional information of the five countries. Uh, in terms of the total area of the five countries, which is uh, 2,571,240 square kilometers. So the five countries have a population of 150 million as per the 2015 estimation, and the life expectancy of male is 57 years and female is 59 years. The total forested land uh, is 90 million hectares, which is equivalent to 37% of the total area of uh, of uh, 243 million hectares. Uh, the world forest ranking of uh, Tanzania is number 18, Mozambique number 19, Kenya is number 74, and Uganda is number 101. So this observatory uh, was created in the last um, project, the, uh, the prototype project, and uh, it fit to add the, the Ethiopia. So when you scroll down, uh, you will be able to see um, more information about the region. Uh, for example, you have information about the drivers of deforestation and degradation. Um, these are uh, um, the, 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 the indicators or the, uh, the drivers that are causing deforestation and degradation of forests in uh, the five countries. And uh, you can see they are, have been arranged in, in terms of the rank. We have the commercial and small scale agriculture. We have the commercial logging, firewood and charcoal, fire forests, forest fires, uh, infrastructure extension, population growth, etc. You can also see the percentage of GHG emissions in land use and forestry. And uh, uh, you can see um, uh, the countries that are actually emitting more and those that are emitting less. Uh, you, uh, when you scroll down, you can actually uh, you get the information about the number of people 
that are directly employed by the forest sector. These are good numbers. You can see Mozambique has 22,000 people that are employed. Uh, Kenya have, uh, has 18,000 people. Uganda has 12,000 people and Tanzania has 7,000 people. Uh, you can also see the uh, information about the forest sector contribution to gross domestic product uh, for the five countries. And you can see that uh, Uganda uh, is, has the highest. The forest sector is contributing about 3.5% of the GDP. Uh, Mozambique uh, has about 3.0% uh, uh, being contributed by the forest sector. Tanzania is also about 3.0% and Kenya has the, the least number, about 1.2%. Uh, that is the percentage that is contributed by the forest sector to the GDP. As you scroll down, uh, you can see you have the forest cover area in thousands of hectares, and it's showing the change trend from 1990 to 2015. And we have much more information as uh, you go to um, the specific countries. So this is the regional outlook. You can also uh, come and, and, and uh, choose a specific country. So for example, if you want to uh, see the information about Mozambique alone, you can click on Mozambique and it will give you uh, the specific information of Mozambique. So as you can see, Mozambique uh, has a total population of 24 million and the life expectancy of male is 50 years and female is 52 years. Uh, the capital city is Maputo. Uh, the total forested land is uh, 41 million hectares, which is equivalent to 51.4% of the total area uh, of 77.9 million hectares. Uh, Mozambique has also experienced a number of wildfires. So we have the statistics of the uh, 2013 wildfire. Uh, the land affected was 10.9 million hectares. Uh, then we have the uh, we have 90,000 uh, active wildfire hotspots, and the, the the most affected province is Nyasa. So that was uh, the uh, province that was affected uh, most by the wildfires of 2013. So when you scroll down, you'll also be able to get more information about Mozambique. Uh, the drivers of uh, for deforestation and degradation uh, are almost the same. We have the commercial agriculture, uh, small-scale farming, exploitation of forest products, firewood and charcoal, urban expansion and other infrastructure, mining and livestock. As you, 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 you go that way, then uh, you can see the total forest cover. And this one is showing the trends between 1990 and uh, 2010. You can see that the, the, the percentage of the forest cover is decreasing as you as the years go by. So using this information, you can also uh, predict what, is, uh, what uh, will happen maybe in 2050 if the if the uh, factors remain the same. So as you scroll down, you can get you can see information about the carbon stock. The carbon stock has also been reducing from 1990 to 2010. I will get information about the forest classification based on usage. Uh, you can see that 67% of the forests are production forests, 22% uh, are conservation forests, and 11% are protection forests. Uh, you can also get information about Mozambique national indicators and uh, many more information. So uh, you are welcome to visit our website and uh, get the information that will help you to make uh, informed decisions about your forests. Thank you and welcome.